So yeah, Raku 10 or Raku Raku what? Uh, yeah, I think we have been labeled the largest e-commerce company in the world you have never heard of. So at least today, after 14 and a half minutes I have left, I want to change at least that, that you know what Rakuten is. And I hope I also tell you a bit of what we have done and what we want to do with it and where we go. That I actually let you figure out. I think you're all smart enough. I put the bits and pieces out there. I'll tell you a bit about where we are, what we do, what we have done. And I think it's very easy to figure out where we go. My name is uh, Christian Macht. Um, I run part of the, the European sales operations and whatsoever for Rakuten. You have probably met or seen uh, Mickey, our founder and CEO, um, on stage. So what has he done? About uh, now 20 years ago, nearly 18 years ago, he founded Rakuten with five other members in Japan. He actually, three of them on the picture, Mickey is on the left, two others are still there. Um, the one on the right, um, I just have to read out, I think he's our executive director, Global Human Resource Department, Group Governance, Promotion Department, Legal Department, Risk Management Department, Corporate Governance, Promotion Department, CEO of Rakuten Social Business and a couple of other stuff. And I don't even explain what the other guy is doing, he has even more titles within Rakuten. So if you have been for 20 years with us, you actually made a very good deal um, and i tell you later about it. Where are we now? So now we even founded our, as you'll see now, our own tower within, uh, within Tokyo. We'll build a new tower um, in, in Tokyo right now and we'll, we'll move in in a couple of months. We now headquarter in, in Berlin, also new for, for Europe. We'll build a new office where we put our American um, operations in, in the Bay Area. So that is what happened from a small startup of five people within 15 years. So where, where are we in that, in that overall in, in environment? So let me share quickly where most of the e-commerce normally is. That's normally what you see out there in e-commerce. And we share a vision that there is something else out there, that there is more serendipity, that there is more exploration, and we actually call that empowerment. We actually think that the merchant deserves more than just being out there and being sold, or the products being sold. We have to admit that the other guys actually had, had quite a success with their model. Yeah? So, so it's definitely not wrong on that side, but we share a vision that this is actually um, where we go. And we have been uh, introduced as the, the happy marketplace or as the optimistic marketplace, and this is what you see when you go into our name. It's uh, Raku 10. Um, it means uh, a happy or an optimistic um, marketplace. So this is, this is where we are and uh, this is where we came from. We have been a marketplace in Japan expanding into the world. What is our difference? As I said, we are not a vending machine. We support our merchants. We have physical e-commerce consultants um, out there. We have university lecturers. So we support our merchants. That's what made us very, very strong in Japan, and that's what we think will make us strong um, also in the rest um, of the world. And success is already there, and I'll show you a couple of, of numbers um, 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 quickly. This is where we are um, on, on the marketplace. So we talk about $18 billion in gross merchant sales out there that we achieved um, um, already by now. We have a more than 40% uh, mobile ratio. So in this, and I think perhaps some of you have heard about Rakuten and they probably heard about the marketplace. This is actually just about 40% of our turnover um, um, in our overall portfolio. So where are we totally? We talk about 46 billion um, in, in turnover. And the, the question is, where does, it, where does it really come from? Where does a market cap of 20 billion in the, in the Japanese prime market um, um, come from? So for that, I'd like to introduce the Rakuten ecosystem to you. So what you see is the marketplace is only part of what we are actually doing. We have the financial services and we have the digital um, um, content. Uh, probably most of you, what I'll show quickly, Later on, you've heard about the Viber acquisition. We paid 900 million 
um, um, on, on Viber. I'll talk about um, and that in a second quickly. So from, from the success out of Japan and also our personal financial success in there, we expanded um, in, into the world. And I think I have to admit there was a painful um, and process. I just joined a year ago, and culture is, is one of the most important things. Everybody out there that wants to expand, we all think we are all us, because we are very similar. But the world out there is very, very different. And we experience from Rakuten that culture is an extremely important part. And we started that by, by transforming our company. And I think that a lot of people have to think when they want to grow. So our boss, Hiroshi Mikitani, I think about four years ago, basically literally came to the office and decided from today on everybody has to speak English in a Japanese environment that was basically unheard of in, in Japan. And that laid the foundation for transforming a Japanese company into a truly global company. So where are we now? And how do we communicate? We all communicate in English. So with every software engineer in Japan, with any, any social media expert in Japan, we communicate together in English. And this is a, a transformation I can just bring to everybody out there to think on that early on and to think about the culture that you have to bring in, in your company and that you might even have, have to change. As I think Rakuten has proven, to change from a very, very local Japanese company to becoming one of these global giants. So the organic growth, of course, is, is not really everything. So I'll give you a quick walkthrough of what we have done basically the last 18 months to expand into a truly global company. And what most of you, as I said, have heard of, of course, is Viber. Now, Viber, for me, probably one of the best deals you could have found out there. Lucky for us, 10 days later, somebody else um, um, <laughs> acquired for a significantly larger amount um, um, uh, one of the main competitors of Viber. So Viber, for me, is, is one of, one of the, the strongholds, not only of an absolutely great product, it's voice, we introduced movie, and I know the tablet version will be, will be coming soon. So Viber will be, as I showed before, be part of the core of what we call the member of the loyalty um, uh, based program. But it's not only that. It's not only Viber. We, for example, have Kobo. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I actually knew Kobo before um, I, I joined Rakuten. I had a Kobo e -book reader. I think it's, a, it's absolutely great product. A again, I have to admit that the big other guys with the A in front did a really good job <laughs> with, with their product and uh, with, a, with a very good cross-marketing. But if you want to really look for a really great great product, <laughs> the, the, the Kobo and the new one, it's, it's waterproof, it's, it's really a fascinating thing. And then it's not only that we bought a company with a great product, we bought a company that provides an ecosystem to our merchants. It's not a blocked system, it's an open system. It helps our merchants to publish, to sell, and don't lose their customers to a, to a different system out there. But again, it's only within our service and we provide it to our merchants. What else? And I think basically my PR guy has forced me to put that in. Um, Rakuten Marketing, again, it's an outside service. It's not our internal marketing. It's the former Linkshare. It's the former MediaForge. It's the former DC Storm that we combine together to a kind of an omni experience um, out there that really can follow the whole customer journey. And what they've done, I've, I've just been with them and I've seen the new products. That is also really, really, really good. It's, it's probably the most advanced part within Rakuten that I've, I've seen for a very long um, um, time. It shows a bit, and I put the put some pieces um, um, later together with you. Another example, I don't know if you've heard about Viki. Viki is an online streaming service that has crowdsourced dubbing. It actually won prices because it helps to preserve endangered languages. So people put effort in it to translate, to dub any content you find online. So for example, in Asia, um, Korean soaps are extremely popular. So now you can watch Korean soaps in Thailand, in Indonesia. Um, I think they translate it in, into Klingon, um, and you find whatever kind of, of, of languages um, um, out there. 
It's again one of these open platforms that we try to foster and that we try to then put together to our Rakuten um, ecosystem. Now a smaller example that you probably haven't heard of, and honestly, we could have had it a bit, better, a bit bigger by now, is Waki. It started as a streaming service, like a kind um, um, of, of a Netflix. It's, it's now a, a pay-per-view uh, based um, um, service. We launched it um, after in Spain, in France now. It's in the UK. We launched it in Germany, actually, um, um, next week. So. What does all that do? And I give you one example on that. So we have the single sign-on. I think that's obvious, so that helps um, Waki. But what does Waki then offer for us? We have what we call the Rakuten Super Points. It's a loyalty program out there. So for every dollar you spend, you get one point. So now let's assume you have two, three dollars worth of points on an average order value of 70 euro, 100 euro, whatsoever, that's a reduction of 2%, 4 5%. Normally, none of us is really persuaded with that little money, I talk on that group here, yeah, to really do a purchase. But suddenly, you can download the latest series of House of Cards with your super points. Suddenly, you get a tangible value out of the loyalty-based platform and ecosystem that we want to build and that we are currently in the process of building. So where are we with the ecosystem? Where are we number-wise? And again, this is beyond um, um, Japan, of course. Japan and the e-commerce um, um, area together, we have more than 150 million unique um, members. In the, in the content part and in the books part, what I showed you on the Kobo side, it's more than 50 million. Yeah? And in the middle, of course, you have Viber. I think the more accurate number is we have more than 200 million monthly active um, 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 users out there. So what I, what I did a bit is I showed you a bit some glimpses and puzzle pieces and, and parts of what Rakuten is, coming from that e-commerce home of the root in Japan, becoming a more global e-commerce company, to putting bits and pieces together to become an ecosystem. And that ecosystem for us only pays off if we have a cross usage among this e-commerce system. And I think the that one really shows that the ecosystem, that the loyalty-based approach works. And we are not a closed system. This is a very open system where we serve our merchants um, um, at the end. So with a cross ratio of nearly 60%, I think we have shown that this works and we want to replicate that in the world and we want to bring that there. So for that, especially in the US, we acquired buy.com a couple of years ago. Yeah, we transformed it into rakuten.com, which is our shopping channel in, in the US. We, we realized we had to step up um, a bit. And you'll see the two latest acquisitions we did. It's, it's Ebates. I don't know if you've heard of it. Uh, we spent a billion dollar um, um, for it, so at least for them, it was definitely quite a good um, um, deal. I'm 100% sure that this will be a very, very, very good deal for us, especially if you combine it with Slice. I'll introduce both quickly um, to you. So Ebates is, is the pioneer of online cashback. Um, I'm shopping. Very, very simple. I think I don't have to explain much further to you. It's a bit different uh, with Slice. It came out of a research project in, in Stanford Graduate School. And what it basically does, it helps you to organize everything you shop, whether that's online or offline. And it, of course, helps us to realize to see what you shop. Not on a personal level, of course, yeah, but on an aggregate level. So we know whether the iPhone 6 was a success or not, and we know whether red shirts are more popular in that what kind of part of the, of the US. So putting that together will be a fresh start for us, I think, in, in the US. And again, it's part of the ecosystem we are currently trying to build, and I quickly give you an overview um, of that. What I have not talked about is the financial services, which is nearly half of our net revenues um, in, in Japan. And um, I can just promise you, in, in the next couple of months and years, you'll see more 
on the financial services. We just did a, a minor investment in BitNet, one of the three Bitcoin uh, processing platforms. And we'll expand what we, what we achieved in, the, in, in Japan. We are the largest um, um, online bank, credit card um, provider, securities processor, um, near-field communication chip um, um, you can buy with our ED card in, in every store and every machine in, in Japan. So what does it mean for me? For me, it means a lot of work uh, because uh, I'm part of that team that has to integrate that and, and bring it um, to you. What it means for the consumer, and I think for the consumer it means that we wanted to create, at least if it's there, a membership-based, loyalty-driven um, ecosystem. So as that was all a bit of a lot of information, all I hope is that you remember from the whole thing, Rakuten, yes? Yes. <laughs> So um, at least we are not the largest e-commerce company in the world anymore that nobody knows. So at least I hope at Slush a lot of people will know Rakuten um, at the end. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>